Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and finally iOS 17 is here with a bunch of new features and changes. And of course, one of the main new features of iOS 17 is the new standby mode. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this brand new feature and I will show you guys everything you need to know regarding the standby mode on iOS 17. How to use it, what you can do with it, how to customize it, how to add new custom stuff to the standby mode and everything else you need to know regarding this feature. Now we're getting started here with the widgets page. So on the standby mode, you will have three different pages. You can move between them. So you will have the widgets here and then you can go to the photos and then you can go to a simple clock. So first of all, we have the widgets just to know that these widgets are actually interactable, just like the widgets that you have on the home screen of your iOS 17 device. So you can switch between different widgets like this. And of course, as I said, they're interactable. You have one of those widgets, you can just use it right here from the lock screen. And of course, you can even customize the section. You can add or remove different widgets. Now, we'll have a bunch of different widgets that are from stock Apple apps that you can add, but also there are a lot of apps that are being updated with support for widgets for the standby mode. So to add a widget, you simply tap and hold one of these. So you will have actually two different parts right here, the left and the right side. You can have different widgets on each of them. So you tap and hold and you go to the edit mode, just like you go on the home screen of your device. Now he will have two different options. You can enable suggestions for widgets, which basically means that Siri will suggest you different widgets to add to your standby mode. And then you have smart rotate, you can enable or disable that. Now he will have the widgets you have currently added. Of course, you can rearrange those if you want to, you can just tap and hold and move them around. And of course, you can remove any one of them from the stack here. Tapping the plus button will allow you to add new widgets. He will have all the different apps that support widgets for your standby mode right here you can see the apple apps but also i have a few from third party apps which are really really great so going back here you can see how cool these widgets from third party apps are and how they will make the standby mode on your device look really cool so let's just go to this one right here from an app called ice screen so you can see what they did here they basically added two different widgets which when they combine, they look really, really awesome. So we have the charging battery here, and of course the current time. And we have this other one right here that shows basically everything you need to know for your device, all the details regarding your device here. And then of course here, the calendar, the storage of your device and everything else, which looks really, really awesome. So from now on, of course, apps will be updated. Most apps will have support for standby widgets, which actually look really awesome. And I can't wait to see what devs will do with this. They look pretty cool. You can see third party widgets for the standby mode are next level. And of course, compared to those by Apple, these look much, much better. Now these widgets will also allow you to open the app to which they belong. So here, the clock widget, if I just tap on it, it will show me that little arrow right there. Now from here, I can tap the arrow and it will actually open the app, which is pretty useful. So any widget you have here, you wanna open that app, simply tap on the widget and tap on the arrow. Now, if you have music playing on your device while you're on the standby mode, you will see that little circle right there. You can see with the waveform. Now, what you can do from here is tap on it and it will actually expand. And now you will have your music controls as well as the album art. And of course, you can control your music directly from here. You can just change the sound there, change the place you're playing. Of course, move to the next song or to the previous and play and pause as easy as that. And of course, if you wanna go to the music app, you can also do that from here. Moving on to the photo section. Now on the photo section, you will have a few like different albums that your iPhone will show you. So right here, we have one that it has basically created like nature photos. It automatically will create these albums from the photo library that you have. Then right here, you can see we have other ones that it has created. But what you can do is also tap and hold here and then you will be able to tap the plus button and from there pick any album that you have on your camera roll and then display that album on the standby mode. So here I just selected the album and you can see now it displays it on the standby mode and it looks pretty cool. So right here we'll have the time and you have the current date and if you tap on it, it will show you right here where you when you have created this album and of course you will have a button to go to this album on the photo library. 
Now, just like you can add different albums, you can also remove albums that your iPhone has automatically added. Once you go to the edit mode on the photo section, you will see here this minus button. You can just simply tap on it and it will as easy as that remove that album. Next up, we're moving to the clocks here. So when you go to the clocks, also here will have a few different modes. So this is the first one, then this is the big clock here, then you will have the time zones, and then you will have the simple one, and this one, which in my opinion looks way better than the other one. So you will have like five different types of clocks that you can choose from. Each of these is of course customizable. You simply tap and hold here and you tap that button right there, that circle, and you will have a few different options here to pick different colors. You can see these dual, dual colors right here, which makes this look pretty cool. And as you can see, we have all the different modes here. Each of them, again, can be customized. Each of them has like its own set of colors, which you can pick from like this one right here, which actually doesn't customize a lot, just like the knob right there and the current day and then we have the first one which is also pretty cool the time and the day there tapping on it again you will have a bunch of different colors to choose from and this one also lets you add these gradient colors which look pretty cool and also tap right there for this one which in my opinion looks the best and makes the lot the standby mode look actually pretty cool now one really cool thing about the standby mode is that it also works with live activities. Just like you get that button right there for your music controls, you will get it for your live activities as well. So if you have a live activity going on, all you have to do while on the standby mode is tap on it and it will display you on the full screen that live activity. In this case, we have these apps that I can launch from the lock screen and they will also work here. So if I just wanna open any of these apps, I can just tap there and of course, it works it opens these apps directly from the standby mode here which is pretty awesome so that's basically it for this video guys this is the new standby mode on ios 17. now of course this is a brand new feature and apple needs to add way more features way more options to the standby mode to actually make it even better and even more useful for iOS users. But it looks like it has a good start. It's actually pretty cool. And with the, all the different options and of course the widgets from third party apps and all that stuff, it makes it even better. So as you could see, these are all the cool new features, all the different options, all the customizations that you can do on the standby mode. This is basically everything there is to the standby mode and everything that you need to know regarding this new feature. Now, I will be posting videos on standby mode in the near future as well on widgets, live activities, interactive widgets, and everything else that you can add to the standby mode, of course, to make it even better and more useful. So if you want to see those videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot. So again, that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It helps the channel a lot. And again, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys on the next one.